one of the questions which I get asked quite a lot is how do you measure the right length of string uh, to string a racket? So lots of different ways of doing it. Um, I'm going to talk you through uh, a couple. I'll start with a tennis racket. So on a tennis racket, you typically string two piece. So that's one half of the set for the mains, the other half for the crosses, or you measure off a reel. Now, if you're measuring off a reel, um, personally, um, I think the best way to do it is to understand how many main strings you've got. So on this Radical Pro, um, we've got 16 mains, so that's eight on either side. So what I'm gonna do is very, very simply, I'm just gonna measure 16 lengths of string using this one here, across the length of the racket. Um, most of you will probably know that some sides are a little bit shorter than when you go right into the middle of the racket, but that just means you get your extra little bit at the end. Um, so let's just quickly show you this method. So very simply pull, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So there we have the mains. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim the amount off there. So I've now got the right amount to do all the mains. So you can essentially crack on with string in the mains, knowing that you've got the right amount of string. Um, you can do a similar thing with the crosses as well. So um, dead easy, you just count how many crosses there are on the racket, do exactly the same thing. So duh, duh, duh. just do it in the middle if you can. And then you can work out how many, you've, uh, what, what you need for that. It's a really good way of saving time. Now, if you're using a set for tennis, then Normally that set is about 12 meters, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, but roughly speaking, the average tennis racket takes about three and a half uh, long arm spans. So that's from um, a, a wingspan, basically. So three and a half set, three and a half wingspans will do um, pretty much all the mains. And you'll have plenty left over then to do, uh, to do the crosses as well. So that's normally what I'll, I'll use because I'm just used to measuring it that way. Um, I'm six one, six one and a half, so I've got a fairly large wingspan, so adjust it up or down accordingly depending on what height you are. But that's normally how I'll work that out. So talking about how to measure string uh, for a racket. So this string is Technofiber 305 1.10. This is going on a Technofiber Supreme 125 curve squash racket. Um, very, very fine string, but you can get away with this string on this racket because it has a very dense string pattern. So this is done as a one piece. So one piece of string, two knots. Um, you obviously have a short side and you have a long side on a squash racket. So as I'm using it as a one piece, a bit different from the tennis racket where I did it as a two piece where you could just measure an equal amount. All I'm going to do, I'm going to use a whole set of string, uh, which came straight out of a set. Um, that, uh, normally I keep three or five on reels, but I'm not on sets with the 1.10s. Um, so I'm going to do it um, short side, actually I'm going to do it on this side. So lots of rackets typically have the short side on the other side, but for the purposes of demonstrating how I string uh, this, sometimes it's a bit easier for me to do it on this side. It makes no real difference which side you have it on. Uh, but what I would say is if you're stringing three or four rackets in a row, make sure that you have the short side on the same side that you do it on consistently. There are obviously some rackets where uh, you will need to do the short side on one particular side, which is normally this side. So quite a few Dunlops have, have that. And that's just because they have grooves in the bumpers and in the side strips as well. So just be a bit careful what you're doing, but on this racket it doesn't matter. So uh, back to the original point, um, I'm going to very quickly show you how I measure this. So I've got a set, which is roughly about six arm spans long. Um, I could probably get away with about five and a quarter arm spans, maybe even five arm spans on this racket. But I'm just going to leave myself a little bit extra seeing as it came out of the set. No point in risking it. So um, 
I'm going to measure, so although it's 14 main strings in this racket, I'm going to measure uh, as if I had 15 main strings. And the reason why I'm doing that is on the short side, I'm going to add an extra length because I'm going to use that extra length to do the top two crosses. The advantage of doing that is you actually keep the tension really, really good and consistent on both of the side mains. So it means that you've got no tension drop off. Yes, you can get around it by um, adding a bit of extra tension to the last main on the short side. But personally, I quite like this one because sometimes it's quite good to have it a bit softer on the top, on the top cross than it is um, on the side main. So anyway, here's how I measure. So start at the throat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that will cover me for the whole of the short side, plus a couple of tops as well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to feed this through. I'm keeping hold of the point here, so I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm keeping hold of the point where I stopped counting. So that's basically, so for there, so that is now, on the side, that is now enough to do seven mains plus top two crosses. Just being careful not to lose that string there. Get on the other side. Just feed it through gently, as it's a really thin string as well, this. Um, I want to be super careful not to crimp it, kink it, or do anything to it. It's going to damage that string. So, just quickly pull this string, see it winds around. So when you see it starting to wind around a bit, try and get it before it crimps. Better to save yourself any hassle later on. So there we go. So that's how I measure. So I've got enough on this side of the racket on the long side to do seven mains plus all of the crosses. I've got enough on the short side, which I'm using on this side, to do all of the crosses, all of the mains, sorry, seven mains plus the top two.